good morning. So if you watched yesterday's video, I have completely done a 180 on my museum journal, temporarily, not forever, uh, and started doing some jelly print paper experimenting and calling it healing. <laughs> um, I cannot concentrate on anything. Um, it's hard to complete thoughts. I started two or three different thoughts in yesterday's video, realized after I edited it that I never completed it. I'm like, oh, well, it's just, it is what it is. It's me. Um, some of the thoughts I started, uh, now I can't remember what they were. <laughs> It's, it's pitiful. Anyhow, let's just move forward and play with paper and heal. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these things. There's no purpose for them as of yet. One day there might be. Um, I don't know. I played a little bit last night. There's one, two, three layer, four layers, a little circle dot, and then I stitched all of them together. Don't look at the back because I just whipped them, whip stitched them down. This one is complete scraps. Um, scrapbook paper that I had cut out, something in the middle that had holes in it. I stitched a couple pieces of scraps down. And this is not finished, but I think it's going to be called Out of Frame, which is famous for me. But it would have been in the trash. Um, it's open-ended over here. I don't know. It's the beginnings. It's the bones of something. This one was, it goes this way, circles out of one sheet sewed to a solid sheet, but I had some hanging off the edge because they needed to, and they're not evenly spaced. I wanted, I started out evenly spaced, and then I'm like, nah, I like the off the edge look. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like this is what I need to do. This is making me feel better. Um, uh, healing my heart where the, the museum journal was not. And I was feeling more and more like I was doing it because I said I was going to do it. And that was... Uh, blocking me <laughs> what little artistic ability I have I would it was being blocked so that being said I think these are jelly paper jelly plate prints um they are gorgeous a lot of times these are just wipe offs this was watercolor and acrylic believe it or not um all kinds of different things. I love this one. I love this one. Um, some are in natural colors. This one has all kinds of what they call cells in pouring. I don't know how they got there. I think this had watercolor on it and acrylic. Uh, oh, it's just... There's a little bit of metallic going on. I had metallic paints because I still have some of the metallic paints from the beach. <clears throat> this one, believe it or not, is a cleanup page. And this is probably one of my favorites. Has lime green, blues, peaches, buff colors, brown, black, uh, purple. You can see underneath. Teal. I love this one. Some of these I'm putting in my... Um, what is that journal that they call them? Pack rat journal. You want to see my pack rat journal? Speaking of healing... Hold on a sec. This is my pack rat journal. <laughs> now, 
I did not take out pages like you're supposed to to make it lie flat, but I don't mind a lumpy left, obviously. The beginning is just a bunch of different letters. I love the look of letters like this and oh, to me, who did this that I've been watching? Caged fish. Um, these are not my ideas, but then I had the whole rest of the book and she has lots of glue books. Um, and so I started collecting images cause I have a couple, um, here are dogs out of magazines and stickers and whatever. It could be anywhere, but so far this is all magazines. This is journaling stuff. And yes, I have tons more than that. I just, that's what I've put down so far. Um, chairs. I have a thing for chairs for some reason. I don't know why. And just images out of magazines, words, fonts, trees. They're not all done. Colors. This is one of my most favorites. Phrases out of magazines or newspapers or whatever. Uh, that's a Daphne's Diary, a cup of tea. Um grocery store ads <laughs> I love this found on the beach um just cool images this one is travel pink scraps that I couldn't get rid of now this is some stuff out of um where women create or those Somerset studio books magazine image and they're not done this one I love this one this is um I think this was where women create b gallagher davies at gmail.com that's who did this I love that but that's kind of like my inspiration but this she did all on one page um I love this just things that I can't get rid of because I'm a pack rat. Blue scraps making tropical storm since we have one. Um, this is out of that same Somerset Studio issue. Blues. Oh, this one. This is a jelly plate cleanup page. This is another jelly plate thing that I tore into a heart. This was out of... Daphne's diary or somewhere I cut out the ballerina or an ad maybe and put her on here and the other side of the ad the world of classical ballet on this side her little arms had to be trimmed and she's doing this kind of pose instead of all the way out but I love that granddaughter drawings from a long time ago that I couldn't part with pack rat um jelly print paper and then deli print and then scrapbook paper and then a picture out of a magazine love that watercolor jelly print magazine image magazine image magazine image acrylic paint on tomorrow river paper watercolor magazine image they're not all done that's the heart edging from the other ballet paper uh what is this Rolling Stone magazine <laughs> with a black frame. The at the the um packaging from a stencil. I just love all that color. Greens, jelly print on card sticks of mine magazine image. National Geographic. Um magazine image Ansel Adams and a ca old fashioned camera, watercolor. Old scrapbook paper that I won't use. The front and the back of it. Another piece of scrap from the magazine. Magazine image. Uh, travel magazine. Brochure. Junk mail. Cleanup page. Washi paper. Stickers. <gasps> um, what is... Um, 
Rolling Stone magazine, an article about Olivia Newton-John um, auctioning off her vest, her jacket from Greece as a fundraiser thing for cancer. Daphne's Diary, I think. Uh, maybe Where Women Create or Somerset Studios, one of those. Uh, Architectural Digest, other bits here. I mean, anything. Pack rat. Circles. Trees. An old store that used to be in Saluda, North Carolina, that I used to love to go to is no longer there. This was from 2007, probably the last time I was there. Pack rat. Um, magazine images that I've collected. Just because it was colorful. Hello. Colorful. One of my favorite quilters that does a lot of the quilting for K Facet is Liza Pryor Lucy, and that's her. I don't think that might be one of her quilts. I'm not sure. I can't remember. And then I had to have purple behind it, some of his fabrics. Uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, who are from Columbia here. My um, Spanish Dictionary prompt page that I made. Purples that haven't gone anywhere yet. And then I just started adding stuff. I love this. This was from a magazine years ago from somewhere. Oh, this is a deli paper on a piece of paint or mixed media paper that I photocopied onto deli paper and unbelievable. And then I put it over and I could see the words through it. I love it. Llamas, llamas, llamas. Um... Browns, quilt magazine ads, paint ad with the Golden Gate Bridge because they're the same color. Hello. This is going to be art words because I have quite a few of those. This was going to be beach stuff because I have quite a few of that stuff. Um, blues and the Yeti. Pinks and flowers. Oh, another set of chairs because, you know, why not? I think that's it so far. But now I'm starting to tear out a couple pages and then glue two together. <coughs> Excuse me. Glue two together. But And I didn't glue the letter section right. So there's a little warping, but I'm okay with all of that. Because I'm a little warped at times. So anyhow... Um, this one is bright and colorful. Metallics, purples, copper, both sides, scraps. So I think today I'm going to weave something because I weaved something the other day and I really loved that look. And I'm going to just take some of these and weave them. But where's that one? that I want to hold on to. Oh, I guess I separated it out, I think. Anyhow, I mean, I can do this a hundred more times today if I want to. Oh, I do love this one though. Not ready to cut that one up yet. Because I'm going to photocopy them. The ones I like and kind of reposition things and just see what happens. And I'm, I'm weaving, no pun intended, weaving some sewing into the paper stuff a little bit. Uh, just because that's healing for me. And I don't have a quilt on the go right now. I might by the end of the day, though. See, I mean, just look at that. two pieces out of this. I mean, and this is nothing rocket science, obviously. It's not, it's all over YouTube on how to do stuff like this. Um, but it's what my heart needs right now. You gotta do what the heart needs. And 
a lot of times you take the ugliest ones and they turn out to be the prettiest or the cleanup turns out to be the prettiest in my opinion I'm trying to think what colors i want with that green and orange maybe metallic or the blue That kind of all looks monochromatic when you put it together, but this, I don't like the color combo with this peachy color, but I like these two together. <laughs> okay, you get left aside. All right, let's see if we can do two at a time. I don't know if you can. It seems like you can. They're about an inch. And it's going to be the both directions. The foundation and the weaving part. And there might be other stuff go into it before the day's over. I don't know. We have um, the remnants of a tropical storm. We are not getting the brunt of it. Crystal ball. Our numbers went down to 397 yesterday. New cases. Okay, so these are a little bit too thick. And I don't know, pretend to know what I'm doing at all. I'm just healing. Healing experiment. Oh, that's better. I think I want the blue ones to be the stationary parts. And I really don't want solid next to solid, but I might not have a choice. Oh, let's do that. That. And this is just plain old deli paper that I got our restaurant supply book. I mean, shop for like $7 for a box of a thousand. Um, I don't know. Five hundred sheets, but I mean, I've had it for four or five years, and I've used a third, maybe <laughs> a quarter, actually. Okay, so now I'm going to tape this down with my ugly washi tape. There's, I'm so sorry. No, pa no washi tape is ugly, but it's stuff that I won't use that I got in a pack. Oh, I don't need that big of a piece. It's not my favorite kind. Favorite whatever. My stomach's growling again. I heard my stomach growl in my video from yesterday. Sorry about that, people. You would think I'm skinny, but I'm not. Okay. Technically, these should be closer together. But to start off with, I think I'm going to keep them farther apart. Okay. And remember, this is an experiment. And I'm not teaching anything. 
I'm just healing. All right. So yeah, we have huge amounts of humidity right now. Okay, let's pull then in a colorful one. And under, over. Then you can add stuff to this. You can add some kind of script to this. You can add some more jelly plate to it, photocopy it, enlarge it, make huge statement pieces. Just whatever. Just whatever floats your boat, whatever heals you. You can put it on top of another colored piece. Now, I think I'm going to go for the other side to give it a little bit of random texture. This is a quilting technique, too. When your fabric is a little too bright, turn it over. See what it looks like on the wrong side. There's no wrong or right, turns out. See, that's metallic, that's flat. And I'm good with that. This has a lot of that copper back in it, okay. what's happening Ooh. hold still camera we'll go over it all doesn't want to stay at an angle okay here's a lot of silver You know what my favorite thing is to put book text underneath it because that shows through a little bit love all right this has silver but it has orange on the opposite side so that's what direction we're going to go with this one So yeah, until my heart is healed, <laughs> this is what we're doing. Until I can concentrate again. All right, let's go out with a bang of color. You could add threads to this fibers in fact I might do that we've a few um, threads in and amongst all this and have like a path of threads going down <gasps> is that not gorgeous sorry look at that minus all the little washi tape scraps Oh, I love that. That's called healing. Come back tomorrow and see what we add to it. Tidbit, I'm getting ready to edit 
and I took a picture of my stuff just now, turned it to just black and white and copied it from or printed it out. Look at that. Look at that. That's black and white. And there's a black, there's a little white dog. Hello. 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 What you want? Look at there. That's the only two containers I have that are not in a spot. One is full of paint. And there's the dog gagging. <laughs> Thanks, Bogey.